What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey fellow drivers, today it's mail time, and it's always exciting when there's new car parts. Free t-shirt? Look at that, brand new. I want to give a special shout out to Naz Rotary for recommending uh, the source that I got this wheel at, as well as everybody else on Instagram and YouTube who tried to help me out and sent me multiple suggestions. So thank you to everyone, couldn't have done it without you. It's always great to have a good community that can direct you in the right uh, way to find things. So the next step is going to be heading on over to 714 Tires and we're going to get a new tire mounted up here and take the MR2 out. sitting in traffic, as you do in Southern California. So if you've watched my last couple videos, you've seen the black MR2, and you should know by now that that uh, is not actually my car, and it was a loaner car, so you know what that means. Achievement unlocked. Also, I wanna make a quick note on buying real wheels versus fake wheels. Most wheels are real, they're just not brand name. You can touch them, they're real. But yeah, so a lot of people say that real wheels won't break, and frankly, that's not really true. Um, first of all, the idea of real wheels are basically brand name wheels. Um, some people might not really realize why those are better than knockoffs. Um, a brand, a brand name wheel uh, won't necessarily be better than a cheap wheel. Uh, it depends on how it was made, whether it was cast versus forged. If you have a forged wheel, that's what makes it stronger. Also, the big advantage of getting real forged wheels is not just the fact that they're stronger, uh, because they can break, they can crack. They just generally won't shatter like a knockoff wheel. But the real advantage is that they're lightweight. Because in order for a cheap wheel to meet standards, it has to be a lot heavier to make it strong enough. So as you can see, legit wheels, even like the Regamaster, that are designed for track use, that are really lightweight, can still crack out on daily street use. How many times have I been here since I started these vlogs? I'm starting to feel like I live here. I don't know, three, four times? Go back and check for me if you can. Anyway, we're all done here, so now all that's left to do is to head back and mount this up onto the MR2.
welcome to tomorrow. So, it's full disclosure time. I was originally planning to mount the wheel this morning and head on over to an exotic car meet because we haven't done that in a while. However, that didn't work out. When I went to go mount the wheel, the wheel weight literally just fell right off. Now, I don't want to give 714 a bad name for this. I came back this morning. They apologized. They said that it probably came off because the adhesive is designed to heat up uh, as you drive it, and it sat in the cold all night and I didn't really drive it. Uh, so they took care of it. Hopefully we won't have a problem. So I figured I wouldn't completely waste the trip and decided to meet up with my friend Kenny for lunch, and I'll see you back at the house. Alright, we are back, and it's finally time to put that there. Finally, it has been a long time coming. I've been waiting to get this wheel for a while. Uh, one thing left to do, put on the decal. So we've got the new wheel on now, and as I mentioned, the MR2 is getting some upgrades, and that's why I had the other black MR2. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. And unfortunately, you probably can't really see a whole lot here. Um, because of the panels on here, but underneath here, there is a new radiator. And, uh, you might be able to see the edge of it in there, maybe. Um, but yeah, so I have a new radiator. It was actually having a little bit of cooling problems when it was being pushed really hard. And, uh, this should take care of it. Um, the old radiator, uh, for one, was the uh, smaller NA radiator, and I've been wanting to upgrade to a larger radiator for a long time. Additionally, that old radiator was actually clogged and needed to be flushed out and replaced, so we just have a new, bigger capacity radiator in here anyway. So, that's the upgrades. So with this new radiator, and along with the new wheel and tire, everything should be running really well. And uh, a quick note, on the other MR2, it was really cool to have the experience because I haven't driven a stock MR2 in a really long time. And uh, the MR2 is a great car, but driving that car just really reaffirmed uh, the decisions that I've made with mine. And I just really liked the way it turned out. You know, everything that I've done to it has just made it feel so much tighter and uh, frankly better and more modern and I just it's glad to see that those things actually make the difference because when you live with them for so long and there are all these little incremental changes you don't necessarily notice the big difference until you get a contrast so that was kind of a cool thing to do thanks for watching again I really appreciate the support it's been a good ride and I'll see you guys in the next video